Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy, I'm a registered acupuncturist and yoga teacher. I'm on my patio, it is still summer here in Toronto, Canada, and um, I'll be honest with you, I have been consuming some alcohol, coffee, and some black teas, and, um, and I've been in the warm sun, and all those combined have caused me to feel a little more achy, and a little more grumpy whole in the body because my tissues, my muscles, all of this stuff in the body have shrunk and become dehydrated. So if you're feeling a little more stiff, a little more achy, please join me in this practice. It's a very short one that's gonna help you feel a little more limber and a little more balanced. And we're gonna remember that before this practice, you may wanna pause now, Go ahead and get grab a glass of water. Go ahead and consume that glass of water and then make sure that after the practice, you're having water as well. Okay, we're gonna rehydrate those tissues. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna make sure that we're in the right seated position. Your feet are hip width distance apart, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders on top of the waist. Today, I'm using a chair that has handlebars. Why? Because at some point in the practice, I want you to be able to, if you can, draw the belly in, press your hands onto those handlebars, press your feet into the earth, and draw the belly in, lift yourself up for a big stretch like this. Ah! Okay, so I started the practice off with that, but we're not gonna do that right now. But I want you to go ahead, grab your water, and grab your chair with the handlebars, okay? Feet hip width distance apart, Knees on top of the ankle, shoulders on top of the waist. Let's go ahead and get started. Hands down onto the thighs, sit nice and tall. Imagine that you have somebody with a, pulling you like a little string on the top of your head attached to there, lifting you up so you feel nice, long, and elongated. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and take three deep breaths to start our practice. If you want to, go ahead and close your eyes, breathe in and out, <sighs> relaxing the shoulders as we breathe out, inhaling, exhale, one more time, breathing in, and out, great. We're gonna take our arms all the way up, high tend to the skies, and then breathe out, breathe, exhale, exhale, out. Good, breathing in, and out. Again, breathing in, high tent to the skies, and breathe out. Awesome. Just go ahead and take the arms out, expanding the lungs. Breathing out, arms down. Go ahead and open them up a little bit more, breathing in. Sit tall, breathe out. Again, inhaling, and exhaling. Let's do five, okay, two more. Breathing in, exhale out. Inhaling, exhale, breathe out. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take those arms up to the sides of you, big arms, big breath, inhale, and then take your hands into the heart, breathe out. Okay, I always like to visualize when I'm doing this, expanding the arm for the beautiful, loving energy the universe has to offer. I'm clasping it in my hands and I'm bringing it right into my heart space. Exhale. Again, breathing in. Beautiful energy from the universe. Clasping into my hands. Bringing it right into the heart space. Okay, inhaling. And confirming, affirming that beautiful energy right into the heart. Okay, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling and exhale. Okay, sit nice and tall. Draw the belly in. Inhale here. Exhale. Let's go ahead and twist to the left. Okay, come back to center. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. Good. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead for a cow and a cat. So hands down on the thighs. We're gonna open up the chest, roll the shoulders back and down to the tail. Stick your tailbone out, open up the heart. Inhale here, 
and then exhale, draw the belly in, draw your chin into the chest, reach the fingertips to the front. Good, inhaling, again, exhaling, rounding the back. Inhaling, exhaling. One more time, breathing in. Actually, two more times to make a five. In and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Ooh, beautiful. From here, I'd like you to take your hands, um, not your hands rather, but your forearms down onto the thighs, okay? Now, if this is a little bit too uncomfortable here, go ahead and grab a cushion to raise yourself a little bit higher. If that's uncomfortable, go ahead and just keep your hands just as they are, right on top of the thighs. What we're planning on doing is opening up the rib cage in the side of the body. So I'd like you to take your left arm all the way up for a high five to the side. And when you do this, try to open up the chest Release the pressure out of your lower back and open up the whole shoulder and hip girdle, okay? So breathing in here, high five to the side, and then exhale down. Good, other side, breathing in, high five, exhale down. How's that? Breathing in, up, the arm, and down, so no restriction in the waist or the chest. Open up the body, lift and open up the waist and down to so putting a little bit more mobility in the whole body inhaling exhaling inhale exhaling we're gonna do one more breathing in and out one more on each side in and out good from here tight belly press yourself all the way up well done and go ahead and roll out the shoulders now. Three, two, oh, that feels good. One, go ahead and take your fingertips on top of the shoulders now and go ahead and roll them out one by one. And as you do this, see if you can open up the chest just as we had done before. So turning your body to the side, inhaling and exhaling, in and out, in, out, Inhaling, exhaling, in, out, in, out. Okay, reach those elbows up to the sky. Breathe in, and then exhale, release. Okay, taking the arms all the way up, arms up, reach up, and then hands to the heart. Well done. Let's go ahead and take our hands down onto the thighs. I'd like you to take your feet a little bit further apart. If you need to come forward at the front of your chair, go ahead and do so. I'm on the shorter side, so I need enough uh, stability, so I come into the end of my chair. Widen your stance here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing, because this is gonna help to open up the body a little bit more into the hips, into the chest. So come on down onto the thighs, and go ahead and breathe in, arm up, and down, breathe out. Good, inhale up and down, up and down, breathing. Inhale, exhale, breathing in and out. Well done. So from here, tight belly when we're coming up, breathe in, tight, tight belly, press yourself up. Now from here, keeping your hands, fingertips on the inside, of your, like facing on the inside of your body here. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of circles here. Okay, so this is like doing a little bit of cow and cat. So cow coming forward, sticking the chest out, tailbone out in the back, and then cat pose, drawing the belly in a little bit as you rotate. This puts beautiful mobility into the, um, the waist. And I really love this for a lower back. Okay. So we're gonna inhale forward, exhale on the outside. Breathing in and out. In and out. Okay, one more time. Breathing in and out. Feel like
Caleb, okay? They're gonna do the other side. Remembering that we're always gonna honor and respect the body. So anytime any of this is feeling uncomfortable, too uncomfortable, then we're gonna stop, right? Gonna slow down. Or you're not gonna do it at all, right? Mind-body connection. That's what yoga is all about. Okay, we're gonna do two more here. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in and out. Ooh, perfect. Now I'm gonna toe heel my feet back in. Okay, so that the knees are on top of the ankles and the shoulders are gonna come right back onto the waist. From here, I'd like you to take your hands onto the handle bars of the chair. We're gonna draw the belly in because we're using our core strength here, okay? Press your feet, both feet, so all four corners of the feet. So we wanna think about like the big toe, the baby toe, and then at your heel, both sides of the heel. Press those feet into the earth, draw the belly in, grasp, grasp onto the handle bars, and press yourself up. Breathing here, opening up for a plank pose. Breathe in and exhale, breathe out. Okay, can we do a few more of those? Again, tight belly, pressing feet into the ground, grasping onto the handles, breathing in, up and down. Let's do it again, breathing in, big stretch, big breath and breathe out. Well done. Three times a charm, perfect. Now from here, I'd like you to take your right knee up to the chest, grasp onto the shin, so never on your kneecap. It was never made very well. We're gonna grasp here, big squeeze, inhaling here, and then exhale, release. Other side, breathing in, nice squeeze, tall spine, and release. We'll do that two more times on each side. Breathe in out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, breathing out, in and out. Well done. From here, I'd like you to take the arms all the way up and then hands down onto the thighs. I'd like you to take the right foot off of the ground. So tight belly, press into the opposite foot, lift and release. Other side, lift and release. So tight belly, supporting the lower back, press into the opposite foot, lift and release. Again, lift and release. Okay, now we're gonna add the arms. Arms up, inhale and exhale, lift. Arms come down and release. The release of the arms up, the foot goes down. Breathe in, breathe out. Tall spine, tight belly, in and out. Got it. Breathing in, tight belly, tight belly, breathe out. Breathing in, breathing out. Relax those shoulders, tight belly, in and out. You got it. Breathing in, breathing out, in and out. Good, breathe in and release. Breathe out, great. Go ahead and turn our head to the right. Come back to center. Turn your head to the left. Come back to center. Draw the chin in, we're gonna look down. Breathe, and then look up. Ooh, feels great. And come back to center, and we're gonna go ahead and gently roll out the neck. So I'm going incredibly slow. You could go even slower than me. I'm breathing as I do this. I kinda have to close my eyes. I uh, suffer from arthritis in my neck from an injury that I had when I was nine years old. And I'm gonna go the other way now. And so it's really important that I take care of my neck and just like you, any of those grumpy areas, you're going to give it extra love and attention and go slow. Don't forget to breathe. Nice 
little rotation here. Good. One more rotation. And then come back to center. We're going to go ahead and take the left ear to left shoulder. And take the opposite arm out. Send energy through that arm to give a little extra oomph into this stretch. You got it. Breathe. Okay, release the arm down. I want you to take your hand on top of the head. No pressure, just placing it right there. Great. Now, I want you to release the hand and turn your head so you're looking down to your, your left hip. Take your hand behind the back of your head and just gently place it on your head. And you're gonna notice there's a nice, beautiful stretch here. Keep on breathing. Perfect. We're going to inhale and then release the hand down. Rotate the head to center. Inhale, come on back up. Well done. We're going to do the other side. Right ear now to right shoulder. Still sitting nice and tall. Taking the left hand out. Sending a little bit of electrical energy out through those fingertips. Breathing. And then releasing the hand, taking the hand, opposite hand on top of the head, not retching or cranking the hand uh, at all, but just placing the weight of it. Good. Notice how that emphasizes the stretch a little. And then from here, we're going to turn our head down to the right, take the hand to the back of the head, place it again on the head, breathing here. Again, not pulling, retching, or any sort of um, motion of that nature. We are just placing it on the head, inhaling and exhaling, and then releasing the hand, rotating the head down to center, and then looking up as you breathe in. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath here, in and out. And I like to close our practices. As you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I do a lot of tapping and of course, rubbing into the meridian. So I'm gonna tap on the top of my shoulder here. Okay, so I have an open hand. You can have a little bit of a fist too. We're gonna just tap the top of the shoulder. This is gallbladder 21. This is a very common acupuncture point that I use in clinic where the person has tight shoulders, a tight neck. We're gonna tap up here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap the outside of my yang channel of my arm. Turn my hand, tap on the inside, all the way up, come across the chest, and go ahead and tap on the other gallbladder, 21, on the other side. Good, keep on breathing, and tap on the outside. What we're doing is we're stimulating the yang and the yin meridians of our body, which is wonderful to help things get started for the start of your day. Now I'm gonna go right underneath my collarbones here. I'm gonna rub into the space and I'm gonna tap and rub. And I'm gonna hold it here with a nice big pressure. I'm gonna breathe in and out. Now I'm gonna rub into my lower back. Good, and I'm gonna tap into the side of my legs just as I had done on my arms. And as I come down, I'm going to tighten my belly muscles. I'm going to tap on the inside, tight, tight belly. Come on up, breathe in. Okay, rub into my lower back here. Big open heart stretch, breathe in. And then exhale, tapping down, breathe out. And then I'm going to tap on coming on up, inhaling as I come up. You got it. One more time, I'm going to rub into the lower back. I'm going to open up my chest for a nice heart opener. Roll the shoulders back. It's almost like I'm doing like a cow pose with my hands behind me, breathing in. And then exhale, tap, 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 all the way down. You got it. You're doing great. And then tapping on the inside. Inhale. And then come on back to release, back to center where we started. So just as a reminder, we're going to close our practice, but before I do, I want to take this time to thank you for watching and joining me with my, my practice here. Please remember to drink a nice glass of warm water when you're done this practice. I wish you peace and happiness. Namaste.